Hey everybody, welcome to the Craps Lab. My name is Rusty and I just returned from Vegas. A couple days out there. It's a fantastic trip. Hit the pool several days. Hit the craps table the first night. Then hit bubble craps the rest of the time. I didn't have the bankroll this trip for multiple $1,500 sessions. So, hmm. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I did enjoy myself playing some bubble craps. I did play Roll to Win over at Planet Hollywood. This video here, I have a few uh, pictures I took and I'll give some feedback about it. And then I got some live play at the new stadium craps at Aria. That was great until security came over and told me you can't do that. Yep, anywho, full trip report to come later. Here we go. I love Planet Hollywood. Okay, let's be fair. I pretty much love any casino, but I have a fondness for those with a craps table. I love the vibe, the energy. Everyone is having fun. The music is jamming. The pleasure pit is rocking again. They did move the poker area and curtained off the old poker area. Not sure if the buffet is back up and running. My wife and I came over on a Friday, and I fully expected to get on a $15 or $25 regular table. It was Friday night and the place was packed. As I approached the craps pit, I noticed they had the new roll to win electronic table set up. This table uses real dice and the players take turns throwing them like a traditional table. The surface is plexiglass and the dice can go anywhere. There are two dealers running the game and they are vigilant about both dice hitting the back wall. I didn't have any problems, but several shooters did. This table is pretty short, supporting four people on the stick side Two people on each end, I'm guessing is an eight foot tub. It's a bit awkward to throw the distance because the distance from the bull, the rail, the player's betting screen, it's a good 12 inches. If you're shorter, rounder, or stiffer, this table may not be for you to throw at. There is a betting window of 15 seconds from the time the dealer enters the previous roll and the betting is turned off. At that point, they slide the dice to the shooter. Feels like it slows down the game. In my opinion, they could send the dice to the shooter as the timer hits zero. Far too many times I ran out of time placing bets. Similar to bubble stadium craps, you need to get familiar with the chip denominations to get your bets set in the betting window with enough time to spare. The nice thing about the roll to win, you want to buy in, put your money in the slot. You want to pull your bets down, hit the all cancel button. You want to turn your bets off, press the all off button. The key is doing this before the betting window closes or you're stuck until after they enter the next roll or you're stuck until after they enter the next roll. When you're done, click the cash out button and don't forget to take your voucher slip. One more annoyance about this table is when the player's card can be accepted, which is only between shooters and how many points you earn. I played for four hours, betting roughly 70 to $120 per shooter after the come out roll and earned 28 tier credits. I'm a diamond plus Caesar rewards player well, I frickin' die! I went there to give them some play so they still remember and love me, and I earned 28 tier credits. Kind of irritating. My first roll, I about threw the dice through the wall. I prepared shooting from stick left one on a 12 foot table. I was effectively stick left one on an 8 foot table. I got settled in and threw a short 5 roll hand. My final throw ended up being better. Started out with a come out seven, set a point of eight, hit a six, a hard 10, then hit the point, set the next point of 10, followed by an eight and nine. At that point, I'm feeling good. Feeling like I'm in the groove. I was aiming at the bottom of the back wall and throwing a hard way set with not a lot of rotation. I threw a three, hard four, another three, and seven out. 12 rolls was my best that night, and it felt good. Two shooters later, the action happened. A guy was on a hot roll. He was setting the dice, and occasionally they would not hit the back wall. It's not like they weren't bouncing on the hard plexiglass and stopping. They would go everywhere. Often they would go sideways and hit the rubber diamonds on the side. The crew would tell shooters on typically their second miss of the back wall that they needed to hit the back wall. After several times, they passed the dice on this shooter. He was on a heater, 20 plus throws. The other players said fine and passed the dice. There was a lot of bitching with the dealers about this. The dealers put a stop to it. 
There was lots of arguing. The dealer talked to the pit and he said fine. But if they take the dice from the shooter again, he was done for 24 hours. If the other players pass the dice, cash them all out. I thought it was pretty funny, but there were some hot players about the whole situation. I bought in for $500 and cashed out for $389. Overall, it was a good time. I was glad I was able to survive a rough start. Roll to wins, not too bad. Kind of hard to choose that over a table that had stick left one available, I guess. So, you know. All right, Sunday morning, heading home today. Uh, last day at the Aria, eight o'clock in the morning. Last night went really well on stadium craps. Poker held my own, so that's good. Tough choice though. I'm down a bit, so the question is, do I get on the craps table? I like I like playing early in the morning. Or do I get on that new stadium craps? It feels like a lot less pressure playing the stadium craps. I don't know. I feel like ever since I started this channel, I put a lot of pressure on myself. But let's see what happens. Wide open. You know what? I think I'm gonna do stadium crafts. Buy them for 300 bucks. Let's see what happens. Got here just when they seven out. We're gonna play on the plus side. All right, so I like to look at the numbers up there. I haven't seen a 12 rolled in a while. There we go. Oh, I guess I'm just doing it right here. So we're gonna put a couple dollars on the 12. I was doing this last night. Ended up hitting the two for nine dollars. I hit the twelve for several. I don't remember. I hit I hit both of them multiple times. And because I'm using that, uh, uh, it, up above they have a, a roll history and fifty within fifty rolls, right? And if they haven't if the, the well, it hasn't been hit for 50 times here. I'm going to do, uh, whoops. Ah, too slow. I thought it was five dollar minimum bet, but as you can see, I can place a field bet for three. No. Put my card in last night. Again, looks like no no 
cheer credits or anything coming off that. I'll put it again today, let's we'll see. Micro press. Seven out. Oh, seventy bucks down the drain. You put in three hundred, right? Lot to do to get set up on this and there's roll hit. Hit that roll dice when you're done. Eight. Let's regress. What? I said you, when you're done you can hit that button. Six and eights here lately. So what's uh, what do you do? Do you play the trend, or do you? Uh... Five front line winner. All right, there's the last twos. I don't know if you saw that. So the last twos are right there.
thing pays one out of one for thirty. Excuse me. The two pays thirty to one. And it, it's expectation expectation is one out of every thirty thirty six rolls. Well it feels like I should still be on that well. Huh? I'll probably just drop that for a bit. Oh, I keep forgetting the lucky shooter. There we go. One of these days I'm gonna hit that thing for a thousand for one, that'd be great. So you have to. Pressure on the six and eight. Now the reason I keep playing that field bet is I should stop. There's that ten. Easy. But uh, the field bet, I like that because it covers the hard way loss. On the four and ten, I can bet it a little heavier. Unfortunately, this is a pays double. Oh! about these uh, games here is you can do some micro pressure. Okay. 436 for $300 buy-in. Three. Oh, I hit the uh, lucky shooter. I got five numbers. Did you hit the lucky shooter, huh? The lucky shooter just hit. Huh? Yeah. Another winner, I think. 
so. So starting from the bottom, that's the current hand. Three is the loser. Looking for the 12, or where was that? That was right there. Seven, that works. Get that thing out of the way. I love playing like this, and this is fantastic for my style of play. I'm spread out. If I was doing this on the quarter table, good God, I couldn't. I couldn't play like this. There it is. All right. Looking for the two here. Let's see the last two. Two is actually further up than the 12, so that's... See how long it's been since the two's rolled? Fine, it dropped anyway. It. Talking to the wife, she's playing too. Nine, right back. Look at this. All right, now I'm. Uh, let's go ahead and. Put up to eight dollars. I would be happy with a four or ten. Oh shit! I forgot my bonus. There we go. Super. I forgot to put my. Don't forget your. I forgot to put the bonus bet on. Did you put the bonus? Yeah. I forgot to put mine on there, but because it's a seven, I get to put it on again. Two dollars on the two. Oh. Eyes. Don't forget to take your eyes on the past. So here we got a five. Looking for any of those other numbers. Ooh, five. Shoot. You're still hunting a three. See that? Oh, you can't see it now. Back on a nine. Look at these numbers here. All right, let's get those bets on here. Oh, and let's go 
15 more there. Ah, no number five. Ooh, I got my sick my two in there either. Doing all right. Four, five, eight, or ten would be fantastic. Hard ten or four would be great. Oops. What a frontline winner. That is ten nines in the last fifty rolls. I'm gonna put a little diagram here. I showing my wife something about uh, riding the trend and the re you know, reversion to the mean. Oh, well. Don't forget your super your your. We're right along the path here of the uh, of the area, basically the, the main route in from the lobby and straight out from the guest lobby. Another nine. All right, let's. Ah, don't forget to take your eyes on the path. Five eighty four. I just put another thirty dollars on that. A hard six, nice. All right, I just looked, I got 160 some dollars out there. Let's, oops, shit, now I got, oh, that's fine. I think we got it locked up here. We got a five, a six, a nine, a ten. We're looking for a four or an eight. Oh, I forgot to put my two there. Damn it. Six. Oh, that's a lucky shooter. Mm-hmm. 
Oh. I had four bucks. Yep. Plus a double that lucky field. 120. Plus I had the field. Alright, so let's go hunt another number here. What do you think? So 11. Field's gonna pay. Still like the 4, the 10. Here we are, here. 8 30 in the morning. It's pretty dead. Six. I look at the board there. Four's only hit twice in the last 50 throws. Uh, 10's hit twice. 12 is hit twice. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, I cashed out for $1,080 at Aria Stadium Craps on uh, Sunday morning. Also saw I was not uh, allowed to record at the table, so that sucked. Uh, probably my sweep of the casino probably blew that. The night before, after I got done playing poker, I ended up playing uh, stadium craps and cashed out for 1016 I did buy in for 400 on Sunday morning. I kept saying 300 It was 400 Cashed out 1080 And then uh, I got one more session in me here before we leave. Hey folks, just got done with the pool after our morning stadium crap session. Heading back down. Got an Uber scheduled for 2.30 and uh, like 12.40, so. Okay, we're back at the uh, stadium craps here. Record the table, so uh, <clears throat> I'm just taking a peek here, see what the, we'll hunt something here. And, all right, we're in for 300. Later. I'll have a uh, trip report video coming up in a couple days. Until then, hit that like and subscribe, and thanks a lot for watching.